Welcome everyone, Dr. Mandel here. So how often should we pee? Or maybe say urinate, or we use the medical word micturate, they'll mean the same. Let's discuss some really important things. We'll take you through it real quick. This is really important. You should understand this because some of these conditions may mean something else. And you'll hear as we explain further. If you are urinating only a couple times a day or peeing a few times a day, you need to be aware that you are dehydrated. Remember all your cells, your organs, your tissues need water. If you even notice that you're constipated quite often or more than normal, you're most likely dehydrated. If you notice your urine dark, okay, it's normally dark in the morning because you're dehydrated when you first wake up because you're sleeping six to eight hours. But if you notice it being dark throughout the day, you're definitely dehydrated. So ideally the average number, or we say the normal number is approximately four to eight times a day. It can actually go up to 10 times a day, depending upon several factors, which I'm gonna discuss right now. So it all is based on your age, your bladder size, your fluid intake. If you're drinking a lot, obviously you're gonna urinate more. Your presence of your medical condition, if you're known to have UTIs, urinary tract infections, or diabetes, it's gonna make you urinate more. Um, and types of medications. If you're on uh, uh, types of uh, medications to get fluid out, like diuretics, it's going to make you urinate. So if you are pregnant, hormonal levels will make you urinate as well too. Uh, important things you want to recognize when you look at urine, uh, make sure obviously there's no blood in there. If it's real cloudy uh, and it's foamy, uh, you want to be aware because that can be possible kidney involvement. You're obviously secreting too much protein in your urine. If you notice it's painful or passing uh, any type of discomfort, uh, that is something you want to be aware. That could be urinary tract infection. You always want to follow up with your doctor as well. If it's a strong smelling urine, not like asparagus, that's normal, but more like uh, maybe sugarish, sugary, uh, sweet, that could be glucose and potentially uh, prediabetes diabetic as well. Um, there are many things obviously that can affect you from going to the bathroom as well uh, from caffeine, sodas, teas, coffee that will definitely excrete lots of urine. Also when you're excreting too much urine, uh, this can actually actually make you lose potassium. So you need to be aware it can throw your electrolytes off as well. But very important when you first get up in the morning, always drink a nice glass of water, put lemon in it if you like. You want to hydrate because it really will make a huge difference. So if your calcium levels are off, it can cause problems. If you have prostate issues, men, uh, hypertrophy of the prostate, uh, or even prostatitis, which is quite common, uh, that can definitely cause problems in your urine, make you have more frequent urination. Sometimes you try to go and you can't even go. Uh, that is something you want to follow up. And there are actually herbs like salt palmetto oil, pumpkin seed, uh, pumpkin seed oil, salt palmetto, uh, there are lots of great things like uh, uh, lutein and uh, there are many herbs that you can take that can actually be very helpful when it comes down to the prostate. Uh, overactive bladder, sometimes even neurological conditions, interstitial cystitis can cause these particular kinds of problems. And a big one, even for the guys and girls, pelvic floor weakness. You need to do Kegel exercises. Google it, Kegel it, Google it. Uh, you want to go ahead and squeeze your, your rectal, your anus together tight. It's like you're urinating and you stop. Urinating and you stop. Every time you stop your urine, you're using those, uh, those muscles in the deep pelvic floor to contract. That will help control any leakage or incontinence you may be having. So you want to look into that. Again, be aware that if you are taking diuretics, you may want to speak to your doctor uh, if you are urinating too much. But obviously, there's a reason why he has, a, has you on those drugs because of blood pressure or any other retention of fluid. Uh, in order to manage this, obviously you want to limit your caffeine drinks uh, that you're eating. Um, you should be drinking at least half the amount of weight your weight in ounces. If you're 150 pounds, at least 75 ounces. I even like to say two thirds of it. Uh, water is something you're not going to OD on. It's something that's only going to help you. Uh, but a big thing with UTIs, I like uh, D-Manos. I like Cranactin. These are natural uh, things you can get over the counter. And this will actually cause antibacterial, uh, called bacterial adhes adherence, anti-adherence where the bacteria will not stick 
to the to the cells to the lining of the urinary tract system. This is a really great thing you can do that's safe and uh, has been very effective. A big thing I'm big with is kimchi kefir yogurt. Probiotics are extremely important because you want to strengthen the probiotics that will strengthen your immune system and that will keep the UTIs and infections or anything you're having uh, away. Realize that the, the, the urethra of the female is, is about so big, the male urethra is a lot longer, so that's why females do get a lot more urinary tract infections than others uh, as compared to men. So those are the main things I want to tell you that, uh, again, if you are urinating tremendously too much, uh, check it out. It could be it could be glucose. There could be other factors. You want to speak to your doctor about that. But the average amount, as we say, is four to five times to up to eight times daily throughout the whole day. Uh, I like to drink water before I go to bed. Uh, a cup. The research shows that this can prevent heart attacks. Most heart attacks occur early in the morning, particularly early in the week. And again, remember, you are using that water for your metabolism, your heart, your your lungs, your brain, uh, your enzymes, your hormones. You need water. People say, don't drink before you go to bed. I disagree. If you got to get up, then you go ahead and you, you, you urinate. That's normal. But having water in your system is so important because if you're not going to drink for six to eight hours, your body is utilizing that water and you are dehydrated when you first get up, extremely dehydrated. And if you're not drinking when you first get up in the morning, you need to because it will make a huge difference. Uh, any last things I want to say? Uh, that's really it. I just wanted to keep it real short and simple. Uh, make sure that uh, you are getting your water. It is so important, particularly if you're spending a lot of time outside, if you're in cool environment, hum uh, humid environments. Uh, remember, our body needs water. 65 to 70 percent of our body is made up of water. The cells, organs, tissues, glands all need water in order to stay healthy. You got to get into your system. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments below. I believe there'll be many. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.